and back. Let me go down on my handy dandy bench. Okay. This is something, as you see, there's dishes here, there's dishes in the back of me, and I have some over there too. I want to show you something that absolutely worked for me that maybe you can use it too. So I'm going to get closer to the cabinet. I'm sitting on my handy dandy little footstool. So I have this right here. Um, the bottom of the china cabinet that I want to go ahead and show you how I'm able to store dishes and you know to go up when you don't have the space to go out it's best if you have well not it's best but if you have the space to go up use it so I have these little stack those racks that I had this many moons ago. So I can't even, I've had these since I was in New Jersey. But I mean, Marshalls, the home goods, but I'm not finding real strong ones like the one that, that is here. This is like really strong metal. So I want to show you how you could go ahead and store your dishes that you will have like, you know, more space to work with. Um, Another thing is to um, having what I like to do is having some type of, let me show you, having some type of for each dish to have some type of doily. This is made out of felt and I bought this from Raw sometime last year and I haven't found any since. And this here, like I said, it's made out of felt. It looks something like the, the paper one that you will use for pastries or to, you know, to do decor with. So what I will put that in between each dish because over a time with the friction on the dishes, your new, you know, nice dishes, they may not be new, but your nice dishes could get scratched over time so this is how I'm able to do this I have my um my rack right here and I have three rack I have three that could fit in here I also have some zip ties so what I will do now is put these in see I'm putting it in here and I'm putting it in with the bottom, the rack, side down. And it, ha it will have the opening to the top. So the second one I'm going to put in is, and you're going to put it in with a V. See how it's shaped? You're going to put it in with this up against the wall. The second one I'm going to put in, I'm going to put the rack to the top, but the open area here. To the bottom and I'm gonna line it up properly I also gonna get the third one and put it in there and the third one now I am going to put it upside it down like I put the first one so the third one is going to be like the first one and I am going to see if I could shimmy, shimmy, shimmy it in here. I could knock down one to try to get the other one in. Let us see. Okay. Now it's in. It is in now, but now I will go ahead and lay them properly. So, this is the first one, and it has enough room, it has enough room in there, it's not like it's not, not enough room, but it's not a lot to have it like that, to have it the other way around. 
and it takes some, you know, trying to get in there. So now the zip ties now that I am going to use is to hold the pieces together. So by every, I'm going to take you in after to show you by, well, I am trying to disguise it that you cannot see the zip ties once I put it in. But I'm going to take you in and show you what, what the final thing looked like. So I'm putting the zip ties by the back, by the, the thicker part and the skinnier part, I'm putting it through the loop last. And I'm putting it in there because I don't want, I don't want the piece to slip. So I'm going to go ahead and do all the rest. Go ahead, do all the rest, and show you what I have done. And so we could stop putting these dishes together. One second. So I'm bringing you in close now. What I was able to do by the zip ties, I got them from the Dollar Tree. And what I was able to do was put the three racks together, making them very sturdy and what I'm going to do now is go ahead and just cut off the um, longer pieces and that's how I'm able to store um, a bunch of my dishes and not have you know well having the, the space to put them not only that it looks nice let me see how much. And not only it looks, it also looks nice. Um, you could go ahead and um, there's different colors. Let me get on there. There's different colors that you could go ahead. I'm getting the pieces out. There's different colors, zip ties, that you could go ahead and get so maybe you might want to coordinate yours. Um, I have the silver one and I didn't buy it because I have the silver one because I bought the zip tie for something totally different. I end up having more zip ties and I just wanted to show you how I'm able to stack my dishes up and have proper place to put them. Here is, here is another one. Here's another one that I did already. This one is a bit shorter, so I could have it out of the um, cabinet to show you. And like I said, I put all of these zip ties on here, all of these zip ties on here. And no, this is a solid, like I could rob this, it's not going anyway. So I would, um, let me show you this real quick. So this, the, I would have liked to have all matching, but I had this many moons ago and I went to the store looking for silver ones. I couldn't find it. So I'm just using what I have. So you remember I tell you that I like putting my dishes up that they don't end up being scratched. So what I do is, see this right here? I got this here from a store, which in, I show you the other one. Where is it? The other one that I use, and this one, I purchased this from Ross. They sell these. I don't know where you could find it, maybe online. But I bought it from Ross, maybe about 3 or $4. And what I do is, I put this. In here and then I put a plate on top of it so you know in the event you're taking plates out it would not scratch your pretty dishes especially if you thrift you know 
you hunt so hard to get these dishes. And what I did was cut them in different size. Like this is a like maybe a salad plate. And this here, this one here might be for like a saucer. And this one is for a dinner plate. As you see, it's not perfect, but I'm able to not have my dishes be scratched up. So I'm just sticking this in the middle that the friction is not, and this is how it look. And I'm able to stack my dishes on top of each other without having them being scratched. So then I will go ahead and just stack them. I think this one could hold an extra, an extra dish, dish. And you see, this is pretty sturdy. See, it's pretty, pretty sturdy. And yes, I have things on the ground because as you see, I'm working with the dishes. So this is the um, set of dishes that I show you. I put these little pieces in between for the cushion. And it's just easy and just stackable and you can just put it right here. And you see the stand is not going any way. That enable you to stack your dishes properly or have them color coordinated like I'm doing right now. So if you look, I am able to store 36 pieces, which still I have room to spare. I have room to spare 36 pieces going up. And I still have extra room that I could put something here, but the main point Sorry, the main point is having your dishes not be scratched. That you could put these little things in or, you know, you put these little pieces in to keep the cushion and it's not noticeable. You could store them really nicely and it's not noticeable at all. So this is how I was able to stack the dishes using these rack. And you see how many dishes is here? This is over now. I just add this set here to it. So it's over 40 something pieces in this one area. And they all are protected with the, um, with this thing here this sponge and i have these special things here that i purchased for in between the dishes and i went ahead and i finished this one here and all the way up and the reason why i said i told you leave the opening up there is that it you see the extra room that you have here you could stack even more dishes up to the top let me show you the other one i could even put more dishes up here because it has this extra room and i put some of them in here that's the cups with the i mean i think there's they're um soup bowls but i will use them as teacups when they're in my house, they're going to do what I tell them to do. Yes, that's right. I talk to dishes. And this is the other set of dishes. And as you see, the blue that's sticking out on the side, that is the felt that I put between every piece to cushion the dishes. And then on the top here is the um, napkin rings, some of the napkin rings and stuff. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh, this here, look. This, I'm going to close it up. Oh, I have more dishes under. <laughs> I have more dishes under. Okay, so I'm going to close it up. But see the knobs that I put on it? These are the glass knobs. I 
picked them up from Home Goods, and I think they look pretty good. I mean, the light is not doing it, you know, right. Look at it right here, and I think it gives it a nice, you know, age look, but yet I put some modern stuff on it, because when you're in V-House, you're going to think the way B thinks. <laughs> So thank you so much for joining me. I'm so glad to be back with you guys. Another video is coming up showing you how I finished building the piece, um, the sideboard. Thank you so much. Love you guys.